Hello and welcome back. I'm going to do kind of a casual style video and just talk to you directly. I know a lot of you like that um, because this week, as a lot of you know, that I have launched our sourdough course. This is the first of many courses to come. At least that's the plan. I have been working on this thing for months now and putting it into video format and making sure that I covered enough of the topic. It is sourdough made simple, an easy approach to sourdough. If you have any interest or want more information, you could find the link in the description box below. This is something I worked so hard on. I just hope it brings a lot of value to those of you who are beginner sourdough bakers or just simply frustrated with the results that you're getting in your sourdough baking. I know there's a lot of confusing information on sourdough baking out there and I certainly wanted to make the course to where it was easy to understand and also share with you exactly what it is that I do to get the results that I want every single time instead of having them be sort of all over the place. I do get a lot of sourdough questions um, in my inbox almost weekly actually and so I have made sure to email all of you who have emailed me your sourdough questions uh, the course so that way you can enroll. And again, I hope you find a lot of value in it. One more thing I want to say on the course, if you find you get a lot out of that course, I would really, really appreciate a testimonial from you. So that's it on the course. Next up is I'm going to head outside. It is spring. It is warm outside. It is beautiful. Of course, uh, spring to me is just such an inspiring um, season. I feel so just filled with gratitude every day. I feel like everything's bursting with life. It's so beautiful. I think this is my favorite season, although fall will get here and I'll say the same thing about it um, because those are my two favorite seasons. But just to be in this and seeing the flowers slowly come, a lot of you know that I planted the garden finally last week and I'm so just anxious to start cutting away the fruit um, from that, but that will be several weeks out. But I am seeing new flowers, new growth. Of course, the lavender is going crazy. It's always going crazy here. And what I'm gonna do is head out, grab some of that lavender, get it drying. And I have some already drying behind me um, because I'm gonna make some lavender oil. Uh, lavender oil is really calming on the skin, very simple to make. I make a big batch of this every single year. If you have eczema, this is a great one for eczema or any sort of inflammation in your skin. It's a nice natural way to calm the skin down and it's very simple to make. Like I said, I will leave a link for making lavender oil in the description box below. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and check it out there. But I also like to make little herb bundles before the flowers fully come in. My zinnias are kind of iffy right now. So I got new zinnia seeds just just to further make sure that I had zinnias this year because last year I didn't have very many and it was very disappointing. Um, but I got new seeds just to, to kind of put in there as well, just in case one group of seeds don't do as well as others. So I did get more and got those going. But before the flowers are fully in, herbs are another great way to bring in some greenery and make the kitchen beautiful. So I'm going to bring you along with me and make some little herb bundles. And yeah, I hope you enjoy today's video.
Each spring I sit out here after harvesting our first few bundles of lavender and process the old bundles that have hung through the winter in our kitchen. Their bright purple buds have faded and they are dry to the touch. I smash them lightly to remove them from the stem. This is a job best left for outside as the small pieces fall from the buds and get everywhere if not careful. I make this oil in particular for my daughter who gets eczema at different times in the year. This is one of the only remedies that seem to work for her when her skin becomes inflamed. I place the dried lavender into mason jars to steep in oil. I like to use olive oil or avocado oil for this, but there are other oils you can use. The lavender is eventually strained off and the oil is placed in jars to store. Another highlight of spring is hanging our sheets on the line to dry. But most importantly, I don't have to wash early in the day to beat the heat just yet. We've been enjoying lots of fresh eggs again as all of our hands are laying almost daily. I have been making quiches often since they are great chilled for a quick lunch or served warm for dinner. Today I'm making a mushroom Swiss quiche with a simple homemade crust. You could find the recipe for both in the description box below. Cooking with the windows open is a treat all itself. It's one of those simple pleasures in life that I think is best in spring.
May the warmth of the sun and the joy of new beginnings fill your days with happiness. Happy spring to you. I will see you on the next one. Thank you.